today I want to share with you six creative fundraising ideas for your startup. Number one, you have to negotiate in advance from your customers. So this is also called like kind of a pre-launching, pre-selling your product before you sell it or before you make it to sell it. So selling your product before the launch is often an overlooked and highly effective way to raise the money that is needed for financing your business, right? So you find a major customer or client or potential business which sees value in your idea so much that they are willing to give you an advance on royalty payments to complete the order or to complete part of your development or to purchase some of the materials that you might need to finish the order. Coming in at number two, barter your services for offers help. Now this one is so, so doable. So you barter your skills or something you have for something that you need. For example, if you feel your product or service would be of some value to your landlord, you can negotiate some free offer space in exchange of a free service. Karen Goodwin of K Communications suggests that try finding a partner outside of your industry and not a direct competitor. In exchange, offer them something of benefit and have co-marking opportunities, right? Blog write-ups, customer referrals in exchange for funding, for support, for access to resources, for things that you would need in your business. So that is a very interesting one. I've done it before. I will definitely recommend you do the same. So I've bought it in terms of coaching. I've given coaching for services that I need. I needed a cover for my book and I bought it services and we exchanged services as well. And there was absolutely no money involved. The third one is creating interesting content, right? So this story was reported in Reason Digital during summertime where a nine-year-old came, set up his article shop with a few cardboard boxes. He set about a building one in his dad's auto repair shop, right? So unfortunately, the shop didn't get many customers until a customer stopped by and loved the Cain's Arcade, right? So he decided to make a film about it and the film became a social media success, right? So after the people across the globe visited this arcade and, and a fund was set up to put him through college, the fund smashed its target of $25,000 and it got over 200, a ridiculous amount, over $200,000, right? The concept earned an extensive social media following as potential customers awaited the product development. The fourth one is get funding as your birthday gift. So like literally. In 2008, as Cynthia Kersey, a divorcee who neared 50 years old, wanted to pursue her dream of securing a child's right to education, she threw a party for her 50th birthday and she invited everyone she knew. All that she asked the guests to bring was $100 and announced that all these gifts will be used as seed money to open a non-profit. Now, isn't that a beautiful idea? And the non-profit was called the Unstoppable Foundation. And that's how that foundation got funded. The fifth one is maybe something that you don't want to hear, but over 90% of startups are self-funded, which is also called bootstrapping, which we've made a video about before, which we can link below. It may take a bit longer to save up some money, but you can take the sharp cut on your luxuries. Most business owners who bootstrap their startups cut down on expenses to save and then they invest that money in their business. The sixth and the last one, a little bit unpredictable, is if you have a big house, if you have an outbuilding, let it out. Faye Johnson, who is the founder and editor of Deliberate Life magazine, rented out her apartment to get started on her seed funding. Faye listed her San Francisco apartment in an Airbnb and started renting it out for anything between five nights a month at a time. How charmingly unconventional. She used that money to fund the cost for the first issue of her magazine. Isn't that beautiful? And the founders of Eversnap did the same. So I have literally shared with you six creative fundraising ideas for your startup. I will link the bootstrapping video below. If you love the content on this channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, tell me how are you feeling about the topics and if there's anything else that you want me to delve in a little bit more, just leave it in the comments. Bye for now.